Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Eddie's Toy Box and today we're going to be taking a look at the Total Divas Collection from Pop WWE number 14, number 15, Brie and Nikki Bella Twin Magic, the Bella Twins. Now, if these pops look a little familiar to you, they should because they're actually repaints of the WWE.com exclusives that made their debut around WrestleMania earlier this year. Excuse my voice a little bit. I've been under the weather lately. Um, side of the box shows you the concept art. What they've done is they've changed it to give it this like pyro, pink pyro effect. But the concept art has been changed to reflect the yellow attire as opposed to the red. Because now instead of in a double box, they're in their own single boxes. Back of the box shows you the other pops in the Total Divas collection. Now, if you were expecting to see Paige, Natalia, Naomi, Cameron, Eva Marie, wrong. All it shows is Brie Bella and Nikki Bella. Um, here is my qualm or issue with this. Brie and Nikki Bella were already released as a double pack. These are just repaints of that said double pack. But now... They're passing it off as the Total Divas Collection because that's a show on E! about uh, all the divas. If you're going to do a Total Divas Collection and you're going to call that like a little mini-series inside the Pop WWE series, why not give us new molds like Paige? Paige is highly popular right now. Um, you could capitalize on Paige's popularity right now by giving her a pop. Popularity. Natalia, um, Cameron, Naomi... Uh, Eva Marie, even, you know, as much as people hate her, people like her too. Um, so if you're going to do a Total Divas collection, don't have it just be the Bella Twins. Because, uh, as much as they're on Total Divas, they don't represent the entire brand. Or am I too far out there? I don't know. That's my qualm with all this, because it's the Total Divas collection, and it only includes the Bella Twins, which is, I guess, okay in a sense. But, still, come on. So, Brie. Nikki. As you can see, it's essentially almost the same exact mold, except they've given Nikki her fearless hat, and they've kind of done her hair differently. Body-wise, though, it's same exact body mold, which it shouldn't be, because we all know Nikki is a little bit, uh, you guys know. Not, not, um, she's had some enhancements. You, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, here we go, Brie Bella. She's got her hair done like it is with the red pop. She's got her little headband here, and I like the sculpt and the mold on that. Uh, shirt, Brie mode, you know, Brie mode. With that techno thing. Um, and this time around, <coughs> excuse me, they've given her um, like these feathered boots. Or is it lace? But I do like the design with the yellow and the white pinstripes that go around here. And um, you can see with Nikki, they've given her the black, like, lace feathered boots all the way around. It says Fearless on the chest. And then the back, I do like this, how it says Fearless Nikki on the cap. That's, you know, her brand, the Fearless brand, and the Brimo brand. But, yeah, paint-wise, there's not many paint issues on these. So if you weren't able to get um, the Bella Twins the first time around from WWE.com or WWE Live Events for the... Um, $25 for the double pack and you really want the Bella Twins and you don't want to pay what they're going for now these two single packs are hitting the stores now and they should be readily available at places like Hot Topic comic shops and basically anywhere pops are sold take a look at Brie here she does have some issues with the paint sculpt on her hair you can see some of the flesh paint around but you know nothing can be perfect now for a little comparison here is Brie from the WWE Live edition. Take a look. Brie mode still on the chest. But everything else is essentially the same, except here they gave her shorts, and here it looks like they're trying to give her like one piece pants. Which, you know, if they wanted to redo Brie Bella um, and release it in a Total Divas collection, maybe give her a mold where, where she has like the flannel shirt around her waist that she wears when she comes out to the ring. That would have been cool. Just to give her something different. And Nikki Bella. As you can see. Same exact pop again. Except, you know, different color. And you can see the paint flaws on her that I haven't magic eraser yet. Look, even the logo on the hat. At least they changed the colors. Which is pretty cool. 
So there you have it. Red and yellow. Red and yellow Bella Twins. Well, let me tell you something, brother. Oh, no. The hoaxer knows a thing or two about red and yellow Jack. You're, you're not supposed to be here. Have you finished apologizing everywhere? Apologizing for what, Jack? Hulk, come on. They, they pretty much erased you from history. The WWE doesn't know what they're talking about, brother dude. Okay, but... Okay, well, what, what do you want to say? The hoaxer just wants to say that these Bella Twins are the real deal, Jack. The Total Divas Collection, red and yellow. What you gonna do? All right, you, you gotta go. I can't. I appreciate everything you did. I just can't support you. What you gonna do when Hulkamania runs wild on you? No, get get out of here. Uh, y Yoda said that you would pay the cab fare. No, get out of here. All right, guys, so if you like this video... Like it, comment, subscribe for more. Follow us on Instagram at ESPJO underscore figs, where we post daily pop pictures. Look for us on Twitter at Eddie's Toy Box. Join us on Facebook at Poppin' Off About Funko. Look for my column every Thursday night on popfinals.com. And as always, be kind to one another, have a great day, and free the pops. We'll see you around.